Welcome to part 5. In parts 3 and 4, we went ahead and finished the login functionality. And we were able to successfully log in, and it redirected us to the members.php page. However, you will notice that the PHP page was blank. So let's go ahead and add some HTML and CSS to style this up a little bit. So I've opened up my members view, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up login.php and simply copy and paste the content there to members. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the form and change login to members only and changes here as well. Okay, and I should mention that it is quite possible that you could implement this in such a way that you had a header section which would be an include and a footer section which would be an include and that way it would simplify things a little bit however just for the sake of this tutorial I'm keeping things simple and just leaving it like this so on our members only page let's just show a simple success message to the user saying you've successfully logged in and we do that like this so I'm just gonna add a p tag and like so and then just below it I'm going to add another paragraph tag and I'm going to include a couple links um, first I'm going to include a link to register.php it's a register member and then also I'm going to include a link to the logout functionality. There we go. So let's go ahead and preview this. I'm going to go ahead and open up login.php, preview, admin, admin, submit. And we actually need to go back into members.php and do a couple minor things. Um, first of all, we want to start the session. So, session start. And we want to include any important files. Okay, so we're gonna include the config. And then let's display the view. Okay, so now let's go ahead and preview this. Um, one moment. Oh, I remember what's wrong. Um, this config actually needs to include. There we go. Okay, so that's successful. Now it shows a members only page with register member and logout link. And the one important thing that we do need to check is we want to make sure the user is logged in before they view this page. So let's go back to our members.php and let's check, check that the user is logged in. So we're going to do that by confirming that the session variable is set. Okay, so if not is set session, so if the session variable called username is not set, we want to then redirect the user. So we do that with the header function, and we want to redirect them back to the login page. There we go. Now, uh, for the sake of this example, we have previously logged in. So if we go back and preview this, this variable is set and we won't get the redirection. But let's test this. So let's add, oopsie, add session destroy here. 
So this will destroy the session and make sure this value is not set. So let's save it and preview. And you'll notice we immediately get redirected back to the login page. So that's working as it should. So I'm going to go back to edit. Let's remove this line like so. OK, so that's working correctly. And we can't access the members page. We can't access that directly. It'll automatically kick us out if we're not logged in. So that's pretty much all set. Let's go ahead and work on the logout functionality. So I'm going to open up logout.php. And as we've done pretty much with all the other PHP files, we're going to include the uh, session start. OK. Um, I don't believe we need to include the config file. Let me just double check. Um, no, that should be fine. OK, so we just need to start the session. And then we need to immediately destroy the session. So session destroy, like so. And then finally, let's display the view to the user. And we're going to do that with an include. OK, and then we're going to display this view to them. OK, so now let's work on this page slightly. So we're going to go ahead and include some standard HTML. We'll set the title up here. I'm going to go ahead, add h1. div with an ID of content. Now within this, we're going to want to add a paragraph tag. OK, like so. So one thing I should note here. Now, we could change logout.php to instead of redirecting to a page that tells the user that they've been logged out, we could redirect them immediately back to the login page. It's up to you, kind of a personal preference thing. In this case, I want to go ahead and show a logged out message so the user is confident that they have successfully logged out. So I'm going to go back here. Um, we're going to accomplish this redirect with a meta refresh, and that's going to be done like this. Um, first of all, we need to include our, a link to our CSS file. So views, like so. And then immediately above that, we want to add meta refresh. No, excuse me, it's actually meta, like so, and this is refresh. And the content, that indicates how many seconds to wait before refreshing the page. So I'm going to wait two seconds. And then the URL here indicates what page we want to redirect the user to. So I'm going to redirect them back to the login page. OK. So that's that. And then looks like this page is just about done. Um, last thing I'm going to do. Just for some reason, if the user has JavaScript disabled, I'm going to add a NoScript tag here. And we're going to display a quick message. Um, we're going to include a link back to the login.php page in case they don't have JavaScript enabled and the redirect doesn't work for them. There we go. OK, so let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to go back to login.php and preview. We log out. You'll notice it shows a message and then redirects back in a couple seconds. So just long enough to show the user that they've been successfully logged out. So admin, admin. So we successfully logged in, and now let's log out.